if you want to see whether a certain set is a vector space, you have to check 10 axioms. And that is a lot of work. Fortunately, we will usually uh, use so-called subspaces, subsets of our familiar vector spaces like Rn or Pn. The nice thing about subspaces is that they inherit almost all the properties of their parent. In practice, this means that you have to check only two properties, closure and addition and scalar multiplication. So in order to see whether a subset is a subspace, then you automatically know that this is a vector space too. So that will save us a lot of work. Let's take a look into this. So subspaces of a vector space V, let's call them W. Well, when do we have a subspace? When you have a non-empty subset, such that for all u and v and w, the sum is also in w. Okay, u and v are in this vector space, so the sum of u and v be will be a vector, so you certainly know that u plus v will be into v. But for in order to be a subspace, the sum has to be in w, the smaller part usually of v. And for all u and v in scalar c, c times u has to be in w. And again, c times u is always a vector, so it will be always be in v. Specifically, it has to be in W in order for W to be a subspace. Well, let's look at some examples. We have, of course, our familiar example, V is R2. And uh, we know that spans are subspaces. So, for example, the span of 1, 2 uh, will be a, a subspace of R2. All linear combinations with vector 1, 2. That's something we saw already in linear algebra 1 before. Now, let's go to the more special vector spaces. For example, to P2. Let's take V is P2. And uh, then W will be the subset of P2, uh, of, of V, such that the P of 0, so if you plug in T of 0, the P of 0 has to be equal to 0. Well, this is a subset of V. It's already he uh, expressed here, because it's a part of V with one extra constraint. It's non-empty because the zero polynomial is in W. Let us see whether those two properties over here are satisfied. Well, you know, if P from T is in the V, then it is of the form A0 plus A1 times C plus A2 times T squared, where A0, A1 and A2 are free to be chosen. Now, if you have this additional constraint that P of zero has to be zero, it means that if you plug in T equals zero, what comes out has to be zero. So that means that A0 has to be zero. So if P lives in W, then it's of the form A1 times T plus A2 times T squared. Well, if we take two of the, this form, so P equals A1 T plus A2 T squared, and we take a Q, which is of the same form, which means that also the first coefficient is zero. So P1 T plus P2 T squared, and we look at the sum, we get P plus oh, Q equals A1 plus P1 times T plus A2 plus B2 times T squared. Again, a polynomial of degree 2, of course, because it is again in V. Moreover, also here the first coefficient is 0, the only coefficient before the T and the T squared, so this P plus Q is also in our W. Well, you can similarly prove the second property. So you see that W is in fact not only a subset of V, but also a subspace of V. Last example. Suppose you take the continuous functions on minus 1, 1. So lots of functions are there, like x squared, sine x, cosine x, whatever you, you like. And then we can take a subset, a W, C1, minus 1, 1, which means that they are uh, one differentiable. Well, this is certainly a subset of um, and the, the continuous functions because if a function is differentiable, then it's also continuous, as you learned in the calculus class. Uh, let's see whether the, about the closure. Uh, well, if you take the sum of two differentiable functions, the result is again differentiable, as you learned in calculus. And if you have a differentiable function and you multiply with the scalar, uh, this the uh, and the result is also differentiable. So that property is also satisfied, which means that the set of differentiable functions 
There's also a subspace and a set of continuous functions. So that is our last example. So you see, checking whether some set is a vector space is a lot of work. However, checking whether you have to do with a subspace goes much faster.